Okay, this is Fraxinus americana, or the white ash, in the family Oleaceae. Oleaceae. Uh, this becomes a large tree with an architectural pattern that we call X-current growth. It has these compound leaves, and the leaves are opposite from one another, which distinguishes this tree from the, the hickories that we, we also see at this site. Um, they're pinnately compound, on these little, and they have little petioles on the leaflets, petioles, seven to nine leaflets, and they're whitish underneath. You can see the whitish color. The twig has a, a peely epidermis, and the twig can be a little bit knobby due to the raised leaf scars. The terminal bud, uh, we call it a Hershey Kiss or a chocolate chip bud. It's rusty brown and scurfy and it has upper lateral buds adjacent to the terminal buds. Now the bark of the adult tree we're not going to see very well because all the adult trees have died because of emerald ash borer. But the bark typically has diamond interlacing ridges and deep fissures. Um, now the only thing that we can see of the adult trees are usually lying on the forest floor. And when I first started teaching woody plants, there were still lots of white ash and they were they're slowly dying now they're all completely dead and you can see on the one side of this tree the the path of where the emerald ash borer larvae had dug into the inner cambium layers when it's eating so um, this is a moderately shade intolerant tree so it depends on trees falling and producing light gaps to establish it's found in uh, rich soils and this tree along with American basswood is an indicator of good soils and farmers use it to find out, decide where they want to place their farms.